So whether you just got done with work, whether you're stressing out over anything that has happened this week, remember there's one thing that we can all do. We can go to that place where we unwind, where we take a breath, and we look at what we have, what God has given us. So as we take this break, this is your beer review number 14. Welcome back. This is your beer review number 14. We visited this company that has produced this next beer out of my uh, Craft Your Own pack that I showed you at the beginning of this week. It comes from the Fort Hammond Old Dominion Brewing Company, and it's one of their <coughs> oak barrel stouts. Okay, And that's simply what it is. As always, as new fashion, I'm going to look at this bottle right here. This is what we have. Dominion Oak Barrel Stout. This is an oak-aged stout fermented on vanilla beans, brewed and bottled by the old Dominion Brewing Company, Dover, Delaware. It's in a 12-ounce bottle. When we go to the website, I'll tell you what additional formats and, or excuse me, uh, volumes that you can get. Dominion Oak Barrel Stout. Oak Barrel Annie is what they call her. Much like her great aunt, never played by the rules. This American-style stout is fermented on vanilla beans. Oak Barrel Stout falls in at 45 IBUs and 5.5 alcohol by volume. And as always, there's that little government warning that they'd like to put on our beer, which is necessary because some people may not know. And here's your pour. Yeah, you can definitely smell the vanilla um, and the oak. You can smell those aromas like almost pretty simply. You just... Okay. So let's go look into this a little bit more. Oak Barrel Stout. They say Oak Barrel Stout raises the bar of American sweet stouts. We'll see if it's sweet or not. Our method of infusing vanilla beans and oak chips during conditioning results in an unparalleled smooth and roasty stout. We already know it's 5.5 alcohol by volume. It says 30 IBUs. That's a little bit off. That's interesting. On their website it says 30 and right here, as you can see right down here, if it will focus out. Let's see. Nope, it won't focus out, but on the bottle it says 45 IBUs. Interesting. Uh, Rated best beer in Delaware by the Delaware News Journal. It has sweet smoked dark specialty malts, Mount Hood hops, dry hopped with vanilla beans and oak chips. Pairs well with oysters, clam, brie cheeses, chocolate. It's available year round in 12 ounce bottles, on draft, and in the pinup pack. So let's go for that taste. Yeah, it is on the sweeter side. I can't tell the difference between 30 and 45 IBUs, but it's not as bitter as what one might expect. The vanilla is there, the oak is there. It gives it a nice, robust flavor, as they said. Um, not really that disappointed with this beer, but not really that impressed of it, uh, as well. So for overall appeal, when you see this, you know what it's trying to do. So overall appeal, I'm going to give it a 6.5 out of 10. Uh, the other one was a little bit better. Um, yep, overall flavor, I'm going to give it uh, 8 out of 10, and we're going to round that up to a 7 out of 10 for the overall score between appeal and flavor. Carbonation is not bad either. Uh, you can barely see it. It's almost thick, dark black, but it's, it's there. So, as always, I ask you, in my reviews to drink in moderation because some are not able to do moderation. Some have to actually control themselves before they can live a little bit, but that's okay. We all know our limits and that's who is the judge. Um, so that's what it is. 
I'm going to start a new thing in beer review number 15. I'm going to probably try to see if I can make my videos collide. So I have videos in my playlist called Life Season 1, and I also have my playlist called Beer Review Season 1. Uh, and one of my plans for that is, as you can see, just right behind me right here, and that white bucket is a five-gallon batch of beer. And currently, right now, it's fermenting into that little sanitizer jug right there so that all those gases don't explode and the beer fly all over my kitchen that I'm currently rented in my apartment. So... That is just a simple IPA. We use a variety of hops. We introduce those hops at different intervals as we were boiling up the wort that we uh, let sit for an hour in a bath of 152 degrees. I have some photos that I'm going to introduce into that video. I'll make that video tomorrow. So look out into Life Season 1 for that video because it's not really a beer review. It's actually an item for life. So, but video number 15 will include links and all that where all the stuff that I do where it collides. I hope fitness and beer never collides because the last time I did that, I felt pretty sick. In other news, have a good weekend. Okay, enjoy the sponsor. So just to make the videos more efficient, I'm going to put my big old head in the video and that's it. So up here, we're going to have our subscribe button over here. We're going to have a video that YouTube says it's going to be recommended down here is my most recent video. And then over here is going to be a video that I select. Have a good day.